Hello guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm super excited about because I'm going to be working with Notion to show you guys my Notion setup. So if you guys didn't know, Notion is kind of like an organizational platform that you can customize according to what you need or what it is that you're organizing. I started using Notion about six months ago for the last school year. So I've become a little bit more familiar with the platform and I've been using it for a while now. And ever since showing it more in my videos where I've had like little glimpses of me showing my homepage and stuff like that, I've gotten tons of questions about what the platform is and I'm just really excited to show you guys my entire setup and stuff. It is gonna be a little different from what you've seen before in my videos. I adjusted it for the new year and for my new classes and stuff like that, just according to what I wanted to be able to organize for this year and what I felt like worked for me and what didn't when I used it last year. So yeah, I'm super happy with how it turned out. I think everything that I have in it is like functional, but still looks pretty and it's just nice because I have everything in one place. I personally use Notion for three main things. So I've got my schoolwork all in here, as well as any YouTube organization and stuff like that. And then finally my finances. Obviously, if you guys do wanna use my template that I'm gonna link in the description box or use any of the stuff that I use in this video, you guys can also add whatever it is that you need. And if you do wanna use it for that journaling aspect, you totally can. So starting off, this is what my homepage looks like. This page is definitely my most like aesthetically pleasing one i just have a lot of like widgets and small things that i just like the look of but i really like this page as like a base for when i open notion every time i have my navigation on the side so my winter 2022 is all the stuff that i need for this semester of school i have my youtube stuff page and my expenses page underneath that i have this little widget that tells me how far into the day and stuff i am not the most useful thing but i think it's cute and then along with that i have the weather for the day how long i have to go for the end of the semester and today's top tasks so the main things that i want to do that day along with that i also have a to-do list for every single class along with youtube and then like personal things that i have to do as you can see when i hover over that it also gets like a thin little outline on it and that just signifies that it's actually linked to a different page so each of these to-do lists are also linked to the individual class pages as well as my youtube one which means if i add anything on this page or my class page it will sync up which is really nice but this just gives me a good overview for everything that I kind of have to do in the different aspects of my life. And then on the side, I have a couple photos. One of them is a film photo that my friend Jocelyn took of like me and my friends walking down the city a couple months ago. And then I just have like a little Pinterest quote here. What I really like it too is it's super easy to switch these out. So if I ever get tired of like the color scheme or whatever photos I have, I can change that really easily. And then finally, as you scroll down, I have my assignment and exam schedule. I have this in calendar format right here because I feel like visually it's easier to see. This just gives me a good overview of what my next few weeks are looking like and what it is that I have coming up for all my classes. And then on the left, I also just have my key academic dates written down. So when my classes begin, when they end, when I have a break, all of that stuff. But yeah, that's what the homepage looks like. I feel like it's functional. It gives me all the information that I need, but it's still like not overwhelming. And I don't know, I think it's a good place to start so now jumping into my school stuff i have a winter 2022 page this page is definitely the most boring one i literally just have my weekly course schedule right here so i can see when i have class and then at the bottom i have each individual class page linked right here all of my class pages are a little bit different depending on how the class is taught how i'm taking notes what the assignments are like all of that stuff so i'll give you a detailed look at one of them and then i'll show you guys the differences between the base one and the other one so this semester i'm taking a cities in the modern world class which i'm personally really enjoying right now it's really interesting and it goes towards my environment degree which is really cool for each individual page i obviously picked a cover that i felt like matched the class the best so i just have this photos of like a skyline here and then the emoji kind of like matches the same vibe at the top of the page i immediately have the times of the class as well as the building and the room number it's in i'm gonna blur that out for safety reasons but just notes there and then to the right of that i have the course homepage. so when we're doing online classes all of the lecture recordings would be uploaded on there any announcements and all that stuff went on there so it's really good to have a link right there to access that for easy access i also have a page with the syllabus embedded so if there's any information that i don't have on notion that i want to look at i can quickly access the syllabus i'm doing type notes for this class so i have my lecture notes and reading notes both on Notion as well, and those are at the top of the page, again, for me to quickly access. 
Then next up, I have my to-do list and my due dates. As you can see, this to-do list is the same one that I had on my homepage. So this is what I meant when I said they're like synced up. So I really like just having an individual to-do list when I'm looking at my class. I know what I need to like do to catch up or like to work on whatever it is that is coming up. But I also get like a big visual of everything that I need to do on my homepage. And then although I have that master like calendar of every single due date that I have for my classes, it's also nice to just be able to see specifically like when my midterms and whatever are for that class right when I open it to remind me so I have my due dates like listed more simply right here as well so for this class I only have a midterm a project and a final exam so it's not a huge ton to like keep track of but it is still nice to have that like reminder once again and then with each of these you guys can also see the dates are highlighted in blue which actually means that I have a reminder on so like for example a week before this midterm it will remind me and i'll get a notification on notion saying like hey this midterm is coming up which just helps me on, stay on top of my stuff i know i need to like start preparing depending on like when you want to be reminded for different assignments and stuff you can do this for like your readings or whatever dates that you're putting in anywhere within your notion which is really nice because once again it's super customizable you can literally remind yourself like an hour before you need to do your laundry or something like that um depending on what task it is that you're setting and then next up, I have all the course content listed right here. As you can see, this class is like relatively reading heavy. Like I have to do a reading or two before every single class. So it's just nice to be able to tick off when exactly I've done those readings and for it to like tell me the name so I can immediately just search that up on my course page to find it. Right now, I like to keep the checked off boxes there just to see like how far into the content we are, how much we've covered and stuff like that. But if I theoretically wanted to, I could also filter this and show like only my unticked ones um so for example if it just completed is unchecked or checked so like here it will filter everything that i haven't done yet and just show me what's coming up i personally like having a view of everything so i don't do that but if that's something that you want to do you can also totally adjust that for yourself too the final thing on this page is my grade calculation i put the weightage for each of the individual components of the class in here and then i can put in my grade and it will automatically um calculate the weighting that i achieved and then give me a sum at the end of the class once i finish everything so that's just nice to keep track of and to show me like how i'm doing on the class so far when it comes to the midterm and like what i need to get on my final depending on what i got on the midterm and stuff like that so yes that is an overview of what my class pages look like going back to my home page next up is my youtube stuff I, for the longest time, didn't really organize stuff when it came to YouTube. Every, like, calendar and all of that stuff was all on different platforms, so I'm glad that for the new year, I've kind of, like, condensed it and all put it in one place. I've got my to-do list at the top, so right now I have to film and edit this video right now, and then I have a meeting with my manager tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. I have a little quote here to keep me motivated, and then I've got a gallery view of three different sections. Notion gives you tons of different options for how to display similar information depending on what exactly it is that you're trying to show. So this gallery view is actually a different um, view for the same like table base that they have and that I've been using throughout the Notion tour. So in this case gallery was the most fitting because these are all like little sub pages that I didn't want to put directly on my YouTube stuff page. But depending on what you're trying to display, you can also do like a little can-can board. If you're doing like a task list, uh, you can make a timeline depending on like a project or something that you're working on. Mm. Um, the calendar view is what I used earlier for um, all of my like tasks and assignments. You can make a list view or then here I've got the gallery. So pressing on, for example, my content calendar, it opens up my linked Google calendar that I have again with my manager. Then I've got my upcoming collaborations. This has a Google Doc embedded in it that I unfortunately can't open, but it basically just tells me um, what sponsorships I have coming up, if I'm doing any, um, when invoices are being sent out, my commission and like all of the business side of it. And then finally my meeting notes. Um, I just have the dates set in here and then here I just write down any tasks that he gives me, things I need to follow up on, um, stuff like that. Then we've got any video ideas. If I have anything that I want to do, I'll probably put that in here. And then the final display is once again a gallery view and this is my video planning. I've started doing this in the new year just to help me keep once again all my planning and all 
that stuff in one place so within these i can put in the type of video it is and by putting it in a different view it'll give me an overview of the type of videos that i've been like making more recently if i want to switch it up it just gives me a good idea of that um, i can put in the post date whether or not it's been posted for example this one has been um, and then i can also paste the like video link whether or not i was sponsored and any notes i had so before i go to film a video like i'll put in the structure and stuff like that um, what I still need to film, if I need to get anything for, for it, all of that stuff just to keep it in one place. So this is really nice. I'm excited for this to build up for my next few videos and eventually be like a little gallery of um, the different content that I've made. But yeah, that is how I organize all of my YouTube stuff. If you've ever been curious about some more behind the scenes stuff, I guess this gives you a better idea of that. And the final thing we're going to look at is my expense layout. I took a template from someone else that had already kind of like formatted the basic formulas and stuff like that and put that all into notion and i kind of adjusted it according to like what i wanted and what i was looking for so i will link the original template below as well as the way that like i've adjusted it so opening up this page this is what you see these are all proxy numbers i didn't really feel comfortable putting my actual expenses and income and stuff like that into here um but this gives you a good idea of how the page works it's pretty simple. I've got my income, my expenses, and my budgeting all in little fold-down menus. Once all of these are open, it can look a little bit overwhelming. And the template that I downloaded had all of this already kind of like formatted so I could hide it, which is really nice. So for each of these tables, obviously you guys kind of get an overview of what it looks like. I can name exactly what it is, the type of income that I'm getting, um, the month that it's in, the amount, and the type of income. For expenses, I have a little bit more to like classify each of them. So I can put in like my rent, my groceries, whatever, um, the amount that I spent, um, I like to put in the exact date of that is as well as like organizing it into categories of like what type of expenditure it was and then whether or not it was like a fixed expense slash like something I needed or if it was like something I didn't really need but I wanted so like something that was more flexible. So every time I have a new expense I can add a new row and I'll just put in whatever it is that I spent and then classify it into the category that it's a part of so those are my income and expenses and what i really like about this is that at the end of the month i can actually group all of my expenses from that month by the category that i put them in and that's what this view shows me so then when it comes to the end of the month and it's time to do budgeting i can look at entertainment and look at the complete sum total of everything that i spent on entertainment that month and put that into the other budgeting table that i have and it'll just tell me if the amount that I spent was within my budget or over my budget um, according to what I've set my budget to be but yeah that grouping category is a really nice notion feature that I really like the thing that's also really nice about this is that like each of these tables is made to last a year so although I only have the January display on right now when it switches to February or whatever I'll just switch it to that month and add um, each of like my expenses and stuff like that for that month but because it's all in one database it allowed the person that like created this to um also create a balance calculator where it'll, it'll add up all of my total expenses and all of my total income from within a year and calculate um the balance and like how much i've saved and then finally it also gives me this view at the bottom where i get an overview of like basically the sum of what i've spent each month um by january february march whatever obviously it's january so i don't have the rest of them filled out but it would obviously be a full table just in a different view format um, giving me the totals of all my expenses but yeah that's how I have that organized and that basically summarizes everything about my notion but yeah that's gonna wrap it up for today's video hopefully you guys found this helpful and enjoyable and it gave you some ideas for ways that you can organize your own notion if you guys do want to download it it's free to download I will have the link down below as well as if you want to duplicate my template and you know adjust it to how you like to organize your life it's obviously very customizable so you can really do whatever works for you. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I love you guys all to the moon and back. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.